Oh my God, I've never met this dog before in my life. He is literally, ah, oh, he's our extra rescue. Oh my God, hello, hello, hiya, hiya, how are you? Okay, so it's really exciting where we're going today. Going back about two months ago, I made a trip to Romania and I was taken to this horrific state shelter where all the dogs are dying. Some of them are dying from disease. Some of them are dying of starvation because the volunteers are only allowed to go in there three days a week to feed the dogs. That means four days a week they don't have any food. So all these little puppies and other dogs were being put in wheelie bins, dead bodies being cleared out by the volunteers. It was really the most awful place you've ever seen. Whilst walking around there, I noticed some dogs I really, really desperately wanted to help. One dog, a little brown one, sadly died. I tried to get her out, but um, by the time the message got to the people to take her out, they told me that she'd actually died. She was this little tiny brown puppy and she'd succumbed to parvovirus or uh, distemper, one of those. And I was so upset, I cried myself to sleep for days and days, and that made me want to help another dog from the place. So I remember when I was out there, there was this beautiful little black and white female. She was so gorgeous. She was a very, very young puppy, putting her paws through the bars, begging for help. So I really tried desperately to get her out. So I made another trip back to Romania in order to pick her up. And I was stopped from going in there by the, um, the authorities that run the shelter. They were frightened that we were filming. They were frightened that we were going to embarrass the shelter. But all I wanted to do was to help this female. So they said I couldn't go in. I had to go away again. I literally spent a plane flight going out to Romania. I wasn't gonna give up though, so I got onto some really good friends of mine in, um, in Romania, one lady, Claudia Dimitri, and she negotiated with the shelter to get this dog out for me. So after a couple of weeks and worrying that the dogs were going to die, I was told that my dog had been taken out and they sent me photos. And when I looked at the photos, I thought, this doesn't look like the same dog. It had brown patches on it. And they said, oh yeah, and by the way, Annika, your dog is a boy, not a girl. And I thought, no, that was definitely a female was the one that I was supposed to take out. So I said to them, I think you've got the wrong dog. And after they went back in with a video camera to film the other dogs that had been in the pen with them, they realized, yes, they had got the wrong dog out of the kennels. They'd got her brother out. He had exactly the same nose marking as she had. I wasn't gonna give up on the sister at all because of course I had said that I, I was absolutely going to help her. So I said to them, can you please go back and get the one that you were supposed to get out first of all? So they went back. Two weeks later, after some more negotiation with the, the, the state shelter, it was very, very difficult to get the dogs out. We got, we finally got her out. And as a bonus, I've got her brother and he wasn't supposed to come out, but I'm so happy that he's out because that means that we've now saved two dogs instead of one dog. I'm absolutely overjoyed. So today we're off to the kennels to pick up her brother, Pip. a dog person and I'm really allergic to them but I, I do like cats I just prefer dogs to be quite blessed to be honest. <laughs> I told you you I was a dog person <laughs> oh my god oh my god I've never met this dog before in my life he is literally ah oh, he's our extra rescue Oh my God. Oh, he's so beautiful. Hello. 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 Oh, hiya. Hiya. How are you? How are you? Look. Hey. How are you, my darling? How are you, my darling? 
Oh, he's gorgeous. Hey, you're doing so well. You're doing so well. Hey, you're so beautiful. Fantastic. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, come on then, baby. Oh, come on. So exciting. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite big. <laughs> He's so beautiful though. We were then off to the retreat in Kent where they had kindly offered to foster Pip until a home offer came in. The retreat is an amazing animal rescue and sanctuary founded by Billy Thompson, where all manner of animals are saved from death at the hands of the slaughterman. They have cows, sheep, hens, turkeys, pigs, you name it, they have it. Hello, Pippi. Hello. Hello, Pippi. Hello. He's so fuzzy. He's so lovely, aren't you? He's so fuzzy. Right, just check his lead. Hey, honey bunny. Yeah, uh, he's, 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 here he is. This is all new to him. But You've got the most beautiful of all faces, haven't you? So we think he's part Border Collie, because right. the, the sister really looks like a Collie. So I think, you know, there was another brown dad in there somewhere along the lines, but he's really gentle. He's got a Collie face. Yes, he? oh, but he's really, really gentle. Considering what these guys have gone through, they're really, really nice dogs. You know, yeah. they, they are really gentle little things. Oh, beautiful. And um, beautiful look, if you can see his me. fur, I think this is almost the remnants of a puppy, puppy coat almost. So I, I really don't think he's that old at all. Little Pip was then taken through to a warm area where he would hopefully bed down and wait for a home offer under the loving care of the staff at the retreat. Next, I was off to see little Jessie, Pip's sister, who had now been renamed Rumi. Lucky Rumi had been adopted straight away and she was already living with her new mum, Yvonne, in a sleepy village near Reading. Hello! <laughs> Hi! Here you go. Oh my goodness open me, the puppy, puppy, puppy! Right, open it, will you just walk? Oh just gosh, walk are they in. all right? There's... Just walk in, they'll all follow. Oh my God, hello! Gently, gently. Oh, she just blends in, doesn't I she? I know bomb? she does. Good girl. Hey, good girly. Oh, good girl. I could see how well Rumi had settled into her new home, blending in perfectly with all her new border collie family members. She was still a little nervous and didn't like my selfie stick, which made me wonder if at some point she had been abused. Nevertheless, her life was to change now for the better. Don't worry. There we go. That's it. <laughs> yeah, once you've got your hand there, she's fine. You're so pretty. Come here. Come. So, um, I'm, I tip it treat out walking and things. I've got chicken in the fridge. She's had a whole chicken breast already today. It's like heaven, isn't it? I know. She she loves chicken. Oh, no her. lunging, no excitement. No nothing. Nothing. Rumi is living out her life now happily with Mum Yvonne, and each day her confidence grows as she explores the outside world and feels grass under her feet for the first time ever. We had more good news the day after when we found out that Pip had been adopted by a lovely lady called Sarah who had visited the retreat and fallen head over heels in love with him. He has now been called Carwin and has moved to a beautiful Surrey village near to me, which is wonderful as this means I can visit him. As well as the good news, there is some sad. Just as I was about to rescue the other dogs, the shelter has now shut its doors and is threatening to euthanise all of the dogs. I am unable to get in at all. I'm still negotiating some of the dogs' release, but that story is still untold and hopefully will end happily. But right now, we just don't know.
If you would like to support this channel, which actively rescues animals, as well as films stories on wildlife, then please do give us a like and subscribe to us, as the adverts on our films help to fund our trips abroad to save these innocent animals. Thank you.